6, the quadratic equation, this one, x times x minus 4 plus 2n is equal to m, where m and n are constant, has two real and equal root. That means the root is real and equal. So if you see this, we know that this b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. This is for real and equal root. So just tell you for more information. If larger than 0, that means two different root, two different two different uh, equal root and if b square minus 4 and c is, uh, is smaller than 0 that means no real root so if b square minus 4 and c equals 0 that means 2 equal and real root so which applies to here so we know that b square minus 4 and c is equal to 0 for this equation but to do this to have b square minus 4 and c we must have a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. We must form it in term of this one. Okay. So x x minus four plus two n is equal to m. So we expand it. X times x is x square. X times negative four negative four x, and then here plus two n, and m we bring it to the other side, so that we will get negative. Okay. So from up here, we can see that a, a is what in front of x square. So we have 1, coefficient of x square is 1. b is what is in front of x, which is this one, negative 4. And then c is the one without x, so we have, two, so we have 2n minus m. Now we can substitute inside the equation. b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So b is negative 4, negative 4 square minus 4, a is 1, c is 2, n minus m is equal to 0. Negative 4 square is 16. So this one we can multiply directly. Or you can just 4 times 1 first, and you want, you want, okay, you can still get the same answer. 4 times 2, n, you get 8, n. This one is negative 4 times 2, n, negative 8, n negative 4 times negative m negative and negative become positive 4m is equal to 0 so the question wants m in turn of n so basically we want m but then the unknown that we have is only n we want m right since we want n everything else we will bring to the right okay so we have 4m is equal to 16 we bring to the right it become negative 16 and 8n we bring to the right negative will become positive 8n okay so here 4m is equal to negative 16 plus 8n so m is equal to negative 16 plus 8n divided by 4 so we see here that every term here can be divided with 4 so we can divide everything with 4 or we can just okay one by one 8n divided by 4 negative 16 divided by 4 we get negative 4. 8 divided by 4, we get 2. So this is the answer. M is equal to negative 4 plus 2N. Or you can also write 2N minus 4.